Hi everyone, this is your reading for Gemini Soulmates, January 21. There we go. So we're going to see what's coming through for you, them and the outcome. Also going to grab some message cards as well. So I'm really excited about those. If you'd like to win a free reading with me, remember everything's in the description box below. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. Last thing I want to mention is my intention bracelets and items are also on Etsy as well. Oh, and also if you'd like to um, purchase a reading with me, that's also down below. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. Yeah, so everything, everything's down below and also my Etsy store is down there as well. There's some really beautiful beaded bracelets um, as well for different areas of your life. Many of you have seen results with these, so do check those out as well um, if you would like to. And uh, yeah, they're meditated with, they're sage, there's face masks, teas, crystals, decoration pieces, charms, it's all on my Etsy store, so definitely do check it out, everyone. Okay, so let's begin here. We've got the sun. So this is for you, and then them and the outcome. Strength, optimism, and then the strength card. You know, you're trying to pull yourself up and get stronger. You've got the King of Wands, Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands, King of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles for them. You've got the Chariot. Let me do the outcome as well. Oh wow! Unbelievable. Okay, so we've got everything here. So we've got the Ace of Cups, Four of Wands. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay. Oh oh. Okay. Wow. Okay. Whew. How many times am I going to say okay? Hierophant. Two of Cups. Page of Cups. Cool. So you've got some nice water energy here as well. Um, you've got actually pretty much everything, every sign, most likely. So, <laughs> wow. What I really see here um, is a sense of things really getting better uh, for you and your soulmate. I mean, the sun here shows optimism, joy, a sense of happiness towards yourself, the strength card shows you getting stronger and feeling stronger. Then you've got the king of wands, which is about having this energy and motivation to really do things for yourself. Some of you may have felt really sad, upset, a little bit down in energy, but you really gain your energy, especially towards the end of January. Um, the energy is really regained, you feel strong, you feel confident, you feel pretty good about yourself and how things are progressing, you feel pretty... Um, like motivated and the ace of swords here is again about taking action communication perhaps with your soulmate here but basically what I do see is things coming together so this is one of the like I'd say best readings for the soulmates that uh, series that I've done just because of the nature of the cards I mean just look at these cards right you can see them properly kind of right so um oh wow that's what we have here. You've got the Knight of Wands, which is absolutely beautiful. Knight of Wands, by the way, really does represent um, just a real sense of them having more physical thoughts about you. Uh, they can't stop thinking about you. They need to come towards you. The King of Pentacles here shows that they're really thinking about like how things can work between the two of you in terms of like maybe logistics and maybe even distance for some of you. But they're really thinking about how things can come together. They definitely want more stability in their life so that they can also prove that to you in many ways. And then of course you've got the Ten of Pentacles. So they do envision a future here with you. That's something I'm picking up on. Um, also like a home and then you've also got the chariot which really is about like moving forward progressing forward personal growth personal happiness personal development and then for the outcome you've got the ace of cups which really is about happiness and joy I mean it's about them expressing their feelings to you or at least like eventually getting to that point which I feel they will 
four of wands here is about the spiritual connection between the two of you which by the way is very protected you see here we have a castle it's the same castle that you have in the background of the chariot card it's the same castle in the four of wands tarot actually has a map and maybe i'll show that to you guys one day but there's an actual painted map and then on that map you've got all of the buildings and and the water around it as well and it actually shows like an entire map and i was I was really fascinated. So, you know, the cards all relate to each other in that sense. It's rather beautiful, but that's what we have. So it's it's really exciting um, in many ways as well. Um, so that's what we've got there, which is quite the excitement. And then you've also got, of course, the Two of Cups, which is about um, love and joy and fulfillment and happiness. Um, which of course is just so, so lovely to see. This is about them wanting to be more open, more communicative with you. The Hierophant definitely, you know, some of them could be a bit stubborn and maybe not as speak, like talkative um, as they perhaps want to be. So that's why, again, they could be thinking about, you know, all of these things like how things could be if the two of you live together or if you were actually together, committed, for example. So they're thinking about a lot of this. And the Page of Cups here shows there can be some nice communication between the two of you and things like that. So they are definitely thinking about all of those options. And let me... grab these messages sorry I didn't have them ready but I want to use these ones so um, the page of cups represents playfulness and uh, being able to communicate very well with them so that's what we have for there okay we've got a lot of cards but um, <laughs> this is the one that flipped over actually do you know what this this two that flipped over yeah okay so let's just not take that chunk let's take this one here um, I'm speaking through songs, okay, so it could be that maybe they post some songs or they uh, say things to you but they're actually song lyrics. Some people do that, some people do that, that's very interesting. Um, I want to dedicate a, a song to you. Okay, so there's definitely something very strong about songs here. Now it could also be synchronicities, you might listen to a song and just be reminded of their connection. Things happen in very synchronised ways, so of course you've got the four of wands here which also represents the... Oh my god, that was very loud, sorry, I do apologise about that which does represent synchronicity in songs. Um, well, it represents more of that spiritual energy, which can also represent the fact that whenever you think of something or you watch a film and there's a song on it, for example, it could represent your situation. Um, just wait on me. Please don't give up on me. So, yeah, they, you know, you might be sort of waiting for them. And like I mentioned as well, you are waiting for them to somehow come towards you and say something to you, which is definitely on the cards here. Like I mentioned, they could be a bit more stubborn and just sort of buying time in that sense. So this is your reading. If it resonates, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And do do take care as well. Everything's always in the description box below for your convenience as well, everyone. Bye!